Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And per request, I'm going to do an analysis on D'Angelo because he had an interesting comment from one of my subscribers. He mentioned it in one of my videos. I mentioned about how in the 90s, the R&B kind of started to take a, a, a down slide, you know, as far as how it used to be in his 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you know. And he said, well, what are your thoughts on Aunt D'Angelo? So uh, I decided to do this video because I actually uh, had touched on D'Angelo maybe about a, two years ago in another video. Yeah, it was called, no, well, anyway. But anyway, uh, this is my analysis. Uh, I think D'Angelo is a very talented guy. Uh, and I won't say a problem, but here's my thing. Because when you listen to certain people's music, you can tell the influence. You know, is it a rock-based influence? Is it R&B? Is it old school? You know, whatever. And when I listen to D'Angelo, you clearly hear the, the gospel uh, influences about the chords and, and also jazz. And, and my issue was it's just too much, many different styles moshed together. And sometimes it just doesn't work. I mean, sometimes it works perfectly and sometimes it doesn't. Because, I mean, uh, this is just solely my opinion. When I listen to gospel, I want it straight. I don't want it mixed in with R&B, hip hop, or, you know, it sounds like it's neo soul too. I want the straight deal you know i don't want mass cut as they say you know and uh when i listen to his stuff i hear the heavy again gospel influences i hear the jazz thing going on i hear the r&b thing going on kind of hear the hip-hop thing going on so just too much going on different style wise but it's interesting uh about d'angelo and uh here is my take uh because i did a video on uh artist careers who tank because of poor management and uh, I kind of put him in that category because when D'Angelo came onto the scene, he was like the, 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 the new prince. I mean, because this guy can sing. Matter of fact, he sounds like him, a lot of his stuff. He can play guitar. He can play keyboards. He writes. He produces. So he was kind of like a self-contained music machine. And I said this in my other video. I'm going to say it again. If I had access to certain people's career, I would have did a PR thing totally different because uh, I believe they marketed D'Angelo wrong, you know, because here's a man that had a, or has a special talent and they just marketed him for the streets. And uh, I was watching a movie, I think it was the Temptations movie and uh, Barry Gordy was talking to the Temptations. He said, I don't want you just to be the best black band in the world. I want you to be the best band in the world. And I'm like, I hear you. You know, it's like, uh, why shoot for the for the stars and you can hit the, you know the moon or whatever? And it's like, oh, let's shoot for the highest thing. And if we don't make it, at least we tried. And I think uh, the people that was responsible for D'Angelo's career just did him a disservice because it was like, let's just market him for the streets. You know, braid up the hair, make him look like a street thug. And, you know, if I had my way as far as managing D'Angelo, I would have cut that hair. I would have put him on a nice suit and presented him to the world, not just the hood. You know, but... uh. That's basically what happened, because I, I look at him now recently, and uh, he all swollen muscle-wise, like he just got out the joint. And it's interesting because Chris Rock says something in the movie that's really funny, and it's true. He said, uh, no one's want to laugh. If you're a comedian, no one wants to laugh at you when you look like that you can kick, they, when it looks like they could kick your ass. You know, because uh, it was a movie about, uh, I think he had accidentally died, it wasn't his time, and the, the angels was trying to find him a temporary body, and they was gonna put him in the body, this real big muscular dude, and he's like, no one's gonna laugh at a guy that looks like that they can kick your ass. And image is very important because uh, it's just important. I mean, I don't know what other what way to put it, but you know, I'm looking again at his career, his physical image, his image, and they just marketed him for the streets. You know, the, the video that he did, I think he's one of the first guys that started, he in the video naked. And I heard a lady say this, she said, that wasn't sexy, it was gross. It's like, I wanna see you sing, I wanna see you naked. There's a time for naked and sexual, and it's a time for you to do your job, and that's the entertaining thing to me. Not to be sitting here naked and spinning around, you know? But whoever managed D'Angelo's career didn't do a good job of me because, uh, again, that man is special. There are a lot of musicians that come and go, they're just good. He was a guy that was exceptional and special, you know, and uh, the management, the PR people dropped the ball on him because D'Angelo sh should have been a bigger name than he was and still kind of cranking out major hits and still out there, you know. But, again, 
They're marketing him for the street people, braid up his hair, take his shirt off, you know, parade around naked. You know, it's like you're taking away from what's important, the talent and the music. And on that note, take care until next time. Thanks for watching.